living into the wilderness for your first tour can be a pretty scary thing. So today we are on the backside of Montfort and we're gonna see how to make a first tour a pleasant experience. Preparation is key. So to find the best tour for you, there are several ways. You can ask your friends, you can ask local guides, go on internet websites. You could search on your own with a map. Now things have changed with digital maps. They also offer all sorts of different filters to tell you the altitude, the vertical, the potential avalanche risk. So today we're going to do a mix of uh, lift and tour. So there's going to be a lot of riding and a little bit of touring, which in my mind is perfect for a first tour. A quick overview of the gear for day mission. Foldable poles, split boards, skins, backpack, if possible ABS, and maybe a little emergency device. Then I would go like all the avalanche gear, prop, shovel, transceiver, a big pair of gloves, a small pair of gloves, crampon is always, uh, ice axes and crampons is always a good thing, at least the ice axe. Uh, you want to take knives, I think really recommendable, and a Gore-Tex jacket that you will leave in your bag. So we are on top of Montfort and there's going to be some good snow. <laughs> so here are a few tips to make your first tour more manageable. Go with friends because it's never a good idea to go alone in the backcountry. And if possible, ask a more experienced friends to take you on your first tour and show you the ropes. In the mountains, communication is key. So always tell people before you go on a tour where you're gonna go, with who, and at what time you're supposed to be back. And maybe I would recommend to always stay within cell reception. So if you have anything that happens, you can always call for rescue. Going down to the valley bottom, and then tour a bit to this little ridge, have a cooler behind, and then we see what happens. The cool thing is that with skins, you are flexible. You can go anywhere you like and you can adapt to the conditions. And you are free, you are alone. Yeah! This is the beauty of it. So if you can avoid having anything above your head, any avalanche danger or anything that could be threatening, it's much better. So choose either a wide open valley bottom or maybe a ridge which you will stay on top all the time. That way you don't have to worry about anything that's going to come from up there. You should always have the possibility to get out a map at any time if you have any doubt of your position. If anything happens, if the weather comes in, if we break a binding, if we're cold, or if anything, we can just ski down all the way back to the resort. It's really important to always have a backup plan. In the mountains, nothing is set. Things are changing a lot. So if you know well your terrain, if you know well your itinerary, if you have the keys with a good map to know where you're at, you can adapt yourself and have a great time and be safe. <laughs>